Last week when I did that uh, video about dehydrating apples and I put them in uh, mason jars, there was a comment that I should uh, buy some of those vacuum packing lids and, you know, vacuum pack them in the jars. But I had been thinking about this other accessory for my food saver and I decided what the heck, I might as well, you know, order one and give it a try. So um, this is what I ordered. It's a food saver. It's a wide mouth jar vacuum sealer because basically I keep all my snacks and you know, extras in the wide mouth jars and just a simple piece of plastic with a hole in the top there and a, a little blue seal on the bottom there and I figured I'd uh, give it a good try out so you know we grow these lima beans in our garden we always just put them in mason jars in the root cellar and you know we use them from there but you know it's not the best way to store them I don't think just you know allowing air in there and stuff so I decided to uh, just try this on a couple of the jars that we had down there already and you can see you just set it on top of the jar and you set the food saver on the the uh, accessory feature there and you plug in the hose and the only thing is this does not shut off automatically when it reaches the uh, all the green lights on you have to shut it off yourself and you know once you shut that down you just remove it and it's amazing how tight that jar seal is uh, this is the first time I've tried it and it looks like it's uh, you know, it's really easy to use and you know looks like a success now they do make another one for the narrow lid jars but we never really store anything in them so I figured this would be a good one to try so I guess from now on uh, anytime anything goes down there it's gonna be vacuum packed uh, it really takes two seconds to do and works really good so here's just a jar of strawberry popcorn that I had down there and you know this stuff can get stale over time so it doesn't you know you don't have a high rate of success when popping it and I just you know threw the lid on there again you can watch the lid actually pull down a little bit that plastic assembly kind of sucks down as the vacuum pulling and then when you shut it off it pops back up a little bit and it seems like when it pulls down it's actually pushing the lid down in place and when you take it off that lid is really on there good I mean there's like two pounds of popcorn in there and it's just uh you know it's not coming off so first two jars were a success so far the good thing about this is you only use a regular jar lids that come with the jars uh, the bad thing is it only works with a food saver now we buy this Himalayan ground salt at Costco in these big containers and what happens over the summertime that top doesn't seal good when you put it on and you'll actually get lumps in there and stuff like that from the moisture that it absorbs so I figured, well, gee, this would be a, a good way to keep the moisture out of the salt also. So and I just uh, took some of the salt. The jar didn't quite fit in this quart jar here to start out with. But I put it as much in there as I could. And I just wanted to see you know, how easy it would be to pull a vacuum down on the salt. So same thing. I just uh, put salt in there and wiped off the rim. There was a little bit of dust on there from the salt. And just popped that thing in place you have to push it down good till it seals hit the button and uh, just watch it go when it hits uh, all the lights are green on there you have to hit the button again to actually uh, turn it off it's not automatic in this mode and then just pull it off so it, it really turns vacuum sealing into like a five second process and you know there it is uh, now this is scary it's like a couple pounds of salt there and um, really did stick good. I'm just throwing the rings back on just to, you know, help with the seal, but I don't know if it really makes a difference or not. Now, this is not for canned goods. That's the thing. You still have to heat process them, but, you know, for just storage of things, um, it seems to work really good. So here's some of the apples like I had uh, just stuck in the jars before. and I'm just trying this on all the different wide mouth size jars that we actually use. And there you can see it just kind of pulling it down. Um, and you can actually hear the pop when the can, when the lid actually pops. Kind of like when you're canning. And then when you pull it off, it's sealed in there tight. So, um, so far I'm having a 100% success rate with this. And it's, you know, it's really uh, simple to use. And there's really not much to go wrong with it, it looks like. As long as that seal doesn't ever get damaged. 
So here's another thing of apples. I'm just having fun now. And so I pulled them right down again, no problem. Now I got this on Amazon and I'll put a link to it down below in the description and they actually do come in two different sizes. There's a um, this is the wide mouth one and there's also a standard mouth jar one. Um, that I'm not you know, I don't know how that one works, but I'm guessing that it would probably work as good as this one. And they also have a kit with both of them, but uh, I can see for you know our use and how we store things that it's really going to be a, a handy thing to have. So here's the, what's left of that salt and I wanted to try one of the uh, smaller pint size jars. And the same thing, you see it pulling down a little bit. It kind of goes all the way down, pushes the lid in place when you hit the, all the green lights are on. And when you release it, you hear a little pop. And uh, same thing, another really good seal. Now, I'm also thinking about trying to pick up another one of these with a little vacuum pump just to use in my shop. Um, well, here I've got the half gallon size jar I'm going to be playing with just to, you know, see how it works with it. But I get a lot of wooden, like, dowels and biscuits and stuff like that that, uh, you know, sitting down in the basement shop, they actually absorb quite a bit of moisture and expand and stuff over the years. So, um... You know they become harder to use and stuff and it just seems like by uh, pulling a vacuum on them when they're new and keeping them sealed in until you you know need to take take a batch out um, it would really make them stay better and last longer so I'm just throwing some biscuits in a jar here to you know just make sure that this thing works on the large jars here also so put the biscuits in and hit the button and same thing you can see it uh, this did take quite a bit longer to pull a vacuum in this larger jar and I'm not sure if there might have been moisture in the you know the biscuits also was trying to pull out but it did it did pull the vacuum and it worked as the same as with all the other jars made a really good seal um, and I figured I could shake this one pretty good because it wouldn't make a mess and you can you can see how good that sealed and actually when you go to release it you can reuse the lids over and over again but um, it seems to be actually wow. better than a seal made during water bath canning so in the end um, I'm gonna say it was a hundred percent success rate with everything that I tried you know to seal the first time and uh, you know it does work good with our machine like I said it does take a specialized machine like this but I'm gonna look for a vacuum pump to use with one of these also in the future and uh, my wife even thinks that this may be good for the uh, fresh basil that we throw in the freezer in bags now. Um, so it probably would keep all the frost and ice from being able to form on it if it will hold a vacuum, you know, under when frozen. So there it is. It's, you know, just a simple thing in our machine how the fitting that fits right in there it's, it's also got this fancy little fitting that works with all those real expensive uh plastic packaging things that they sell but you know like i said i'm not going to spend any money on something like that that's only good for you know one use one item and then when you're done it just the hose just goes right back in the machine and um you know you put it away in the end i think it's well worth the 10 bucks that it cost thanks for watching please subscribe